opening of the Arsis Bank, Lagos City Marathon began at the National Stadium in Tulare with over 3,000 runners eager to win the coveted prize of $50,000. Around an hour, a few minutes later, at the Falomo Bridge in Ikoi, Chaparat led a pack of Kenyan athletes to be the first set of runners to lead the contingent heading towards the finish line at the Eco Atlantic City. With enthusiastic display of spectators at the finishing line and lots of excitement in the air, thousands of non-participants and phone seekers were waiting eagerly to welcome the first athletes to cross the finish line. <laughs> In 2 hours, 16 minutes, 49 seconds, Kenya's Bernard Sang, who came third in 2023, emerged winner in his third attempt. The 32-year-old expressed his desire for the city of Lagos and his next plan after the winning. I feel grateful because I, I, come, uh, I have come uh, three times and it is my first time winning. Last year I was number three. Running in Lagos is motivating me to come back because it is a nice city, Lagos people are welcoming. I really enjoy running in Lagos. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to coming again next year. In the women's category, Charla Kebening from Ethiopia came first with a time of 2 hours 41 minutes, while Kenya's Ruth Aga returned exactly 2 hours 41 minutes to play second. Ethiopia's Sharon Sharap came forward in the time of 2 hours 42 minutes. Adabo Mwazu of the Public Complaints Commission became the first Nigerian to cross the finish line, repeating defeat as he achieved last year. Mwazu crossed the line in a personal best of 2 hours, 27 minutes, while Deborah Pam of the Nigeria's Security and Defence Corps was the first Nigerian woman to cross the finish line. You know, my training shows me that I'm equal to the test because always I'm training to win this competition. A day. I'm training three times a day, morning, afternoon, evening, because of this tournament. So there is no how you compare someone that is training once daily and me that I'm training three times a day to run this marathon. So that is the hard work that I'm doing. And because of that hard work, that God see me through to win this one again. In Nigeria, especially the assets van, they are encouraging. It's the only standard and successful marathon that is taking place without any hindrance. We are saying kudos to the assess man because this is the only marathon that we have of no matter how it is. If you win, your money will be given to you at the appropriate time that they state. What motivating me, they are giving us sensitive, uh, motivating us by giving us cash to provide our needs. That is why we are putting more effort to be coming and to be participating. This marathon race. The Assis Bank Lagos City Marathon has grown in bound and innovation since inception in 2015 and it has put Nigeria on the global map that has attracted tourists and boosted the economy of the state. The Deputy Managing Director, Assis Bank Victor Toku, the major sponsor of the marathon, spoke about what made the race one of the best in Africa. The bank is the largest bank in Nigeria. Uh, as the largest bank in Nigeria, we have a role to play in driving the economy in supporting people to live a healthy lifestyle. So we have been supporting this marathon for the last nine years because we believe in it. We believe it is a, it helps people drive a healthy lifestyle of fitness and health and healthy living. Because only healthy people can build a healthy economy. Uh, the, there's a clear nexus between health status of citizens and the economy of, of a country. And we are interested in building the health, health Nigerians so we can build a healthy economy. Apart from that, marathons help to drive the economy. Today, as we speak, there are about 18 countries represented here. So we have people coming in to understand who we are, 
and bringing fortunes into the country. You, you can imagine the impact on the economy of Lagos State for the last two months. Food, restaurant, transport, hotels, and even sports infrastructure. All these things have been impacted by this marathon. And with this year in, year out, we are the fastest marathon in the world to get a gold status. And by next year, we'll be applying for a platinum status. We are the biggest marathon in Africa. And we are at par with every other marathon anywhere in the world, be it London, uh, Boston, and Chicago, and New York. The Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Abafemi Amzit, said the public private partnership between the state government, Nasus Bank, and other stakeholders has made the race continue to develop yearly. We have a very healthy relationship with private sector access bank, for example, and they've been fantastic. So we've been working together, Lagos State Government, access, and every stakeholder to make sure that this continues to grow. So I think credit must go to our citizens. So when we give instructions, people comply, we close roads, so various infrastructures are deployed to make sure that the athletes have a free... Remember, marathons around the world are the same, okay, and the essence of this is to be one of the best marathons in the world. So the partnership between Lagos and Access Bank and all the stakeholders has been fantastic and I think that's it. And credit must be given to private sector for coming up and working with our state to make sure this happens. In terms of economy, of course, it elevates it. People buy more goods. People understand our culture better. So it has many multiplying effects. It's not just about money, but it's also about relationship and then showcasing our state and our country so that it's not only negative narrative that people see. People see positive component, they see Nigerians at their best, and they see that we can organize the best event anywhere in the world. With the emergence of Arsis Bank Lagos City Marathon, there have been several races across the country. The race general manager, Yusuf Ali, believed that Nigeria is now among the marathon countries in Africa. I think so. Since uh, 2016, we now have over 70 marathon races over Nigeria. I think we are growing, and uh, if you compare to other other countries, I think we are we are up there. Apart from running to win a prize, marathon races has been proven to improve the mental state of individuals and their total well-being.